What's going on guys, Balkan Arctid here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about 3D sections in Revit. Now I've already done a basic tutorial on 3D sections and 3D floor plans so check out those tutorials in the description of this video but today I'm going to be doing this kind of a partial 3D section as you can see in these images and actually this dome image is what inspired me, I got this in a comment and it looked real cool and it's not that simple to do in Revit and uh, well it, you have to do a bit of a workaround so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit, and this is just a dome project that I've done that I've done a while back for a dome tutorial, and a link to that tutorial is in the description of this video as well. So as you can see, this this is just a basic dome, and if we wanted to create a section, we will just have to scroll down here in the properties for the 3D view, uh, check the section box, and you get this section box, and then you can kind of move it around and cut this this dome. But the problem is if you cut it like this you only get one segment and we want to have actually the inverse of this. So I only want to cut out kind of a quarter of this of this uh, dome and you can't really do that. You can only cut a half or you can only leave a half or a quarter because everything that's outside of this section box is basically you you can't edit it and the problem with the section box is you can't really edit the section box it has to stay a regular box till now until Autodesk fixes it so let's see the workaround for this so first I'm just going to create a new view just to have a 3D perspective view I prefer those for kind of drawings like this so I'm just going to go here to camera and just create a camera view kinda of like this okay and let's maybe orbit a bit around to the top maybe move the camera a bit away kinda of like that yeah so here we can see We've got our dome and let's turn this to a realistic and turn on the shadows just to see it better. Okay, so we've got our dome and now it's time to create this section. Now we will be creating this by creating two different renderings and then bringing them together in Photoshop. So how do you do that? How do you cut out this portion of the, of the dome to create this partial 3D section? So you go here into the properties and again you start at the section box and then you're just going to move this in a bit and you're going to start cutting and you're actually going to cut to the middle of this thing so just make sure you're exactly in the middle so move a bit more, a bit more maybe a bit less, no we're there, okay this is the middle so we've got this and maybe we can make this a bit smaller maybe like that just so we don't waste any space okay so we've got this and you just hit the double R for render let's close out of this okay and here let's leave it at draft let's leave it at screen I don't it doesn't have to be perfect for this I'm just showing you the example and just here for the background for the style instead of few clouds which is kinda of the, the default setting you need to change this to transparent and once you've done that you hit render and you wait for a few seconds and you get this so you can see you've got this checker flag in the uh, in the background and this actually indicates that this is a transparent photo so this is a when you export it when you go here to export it exports as PNG so let's just call it 3d view 1 and save it on desktop and let's cancel out of this and again let's select the section box move this out of the way move this <laughs> into the way and then again you kinda set it up so it cuts this thing exactly in the middle so you kinda go a bit like that okay so let's say it's cutting it in the middle and now you go double R again for render and it's already set to transparent so you just hit render and you get the the other portion of this uh, of this dome so the next thing you need to do you need to load it into the project so or to, to bring those two together so again let's export this let's call it 3d view number two and save and let's cancel out of this and let's minimize Revit so here I've got these two domes so let's open up the first one and I'm just going to right click and open it up with Photoshop because it makes it a lot easier to bring these two halves together and as you can see this is the background and we can actually change the background you can create a new layer and just hit Control a to select everything and let's just fill it up with some color let's do black for example yeah so we can see it better okay so we've got this half of the dome now we just pull this out of the way a bit 
and let's load in the other half bring this together okay and you just hit finish and you move the this one to the front and then you just need to zoom in a bit and see and try to kind of make these align over here and then what you're going to do you're going to just create a selection like this in the middle and then we can kind of create a mask and let's just invert that mask so you basically got only this part of the of the dome left and there you go so now we have this kind of a corner cut out uh, section of this dome now of course this is just a simple dome that I used to uh, present the, the this type of a presentation in Revit but of course you can make it a lot a lot more complicated and you can refine the process and just to make it look look amazing okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope this was useful thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below Thank you for watching and have a nice day.